Welcome back everyone who's interested in the continuation of the YouTube reading. I am I am as open to what's going to come out here as probably you are. I'm going to see um I don't even have an intention or like or or steering it in any direction. So whatever wants to come out around this topic um I am open. So what else do we want to say around this topic? What else what else can we share here? That is informative and that is inspiring and that is uplifting, unconditional. First card out is triumph. The other one is truth. a third card but actually I want to get another deck there we go an ascending heart wow uh, triumph number seven truth 20 and move ascending heart number seven again so what I'm getting with this is that whatever side you're on and whatever whatever you're experiencing through this whole pandemic and whatever you're experiencing right now where it feels maybe even like you feel fearful that you know the government can do things right now that that is just not okay uh, or whether you feel like thank god the government steps in and makes some order here uh, so that people who seem to not have any um, mind uh, <laughs> is sort of uh, just been, you know, it's just their duty to do this. Um, it doesn't matter what, what perspective that you're getting from. We're going to triumph through all of this. Like at, at the, on the other side of this, we're going to succeed all of us as a collective, we're going to succeed. And the truth, the truth will be told, like the truth will set you free that we're going to get to the truth of this and that what it, what is the truth the truth is just something that is innately um innately for each individual our own because there's not one i would feel like something is really this is true for me this is honest, honestly is like so true for me and for another person something else is like no that is their truth so what is the truth i and i just feel like this 20 this 2.0 version of ourselves like there's a there's a clear upgrade an update uh, an ascension process in all of this like the reason why it's even taking place is that we are really ascending right now we're asking strong questions because of the strong what we what we find is like wherever you are you're making a decision right now to be on one side or the other side or above it and the truth, the real truth will come out. The upgrade will take place where we'll go into a 2.0 version of ourself where I feel like there's so much more uh, that we already had, like power and strength, self-reliance, like relying on our bodies to know what the body's doing, not needing anything outside from anyone or anything in order to, in order to control um, to control or or even help the body because the body doesn't need help and as long as we feel that the body is not empowered enough or not sort of strong enough to work itself out you're doing a, a disservice to the body and telling the body you can't ha handle this and you know the truth the truth can have so many faces but like one perspective is if you're like one perspective is if you're so sh one truth is if you're so sure that your body you're, you're against vaccine let's say and you're you're so sure your body can handle whatever whatever thing that's going to come to you whatever virus is going to come into your body you're so sure that your body can handle it being so against vaccine is also resistance 
And it doesn't matter if it's resistance towards vaccine, resistance towards bad weather, resistance towards um, your mother-in-law. I just compared your mother-in-law to vaccine. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to make this light because, because is some say it's the end of the world and it's the end of it's the end of some you know whatever it is but like i am i'm trying here if your body can deal with the virus so so the body can also deal with the vaccine i know this time around people really have gone out of their way to to really sort of say please for the love of god don't take the vaccine because it's really dangerous um and the other vaccines that we have sort of brought forth before, we haven't had that type of reaction, like, please don't take it. Um, but if you go to people like Wim Hof, if you have heard of Wim Hof, uh, he's doing all these breathing techniques. He's in water for 40,000 hours, of course not, but like so long time in freezing cold water and he's still making his body temperature rise. It doesn't get cooled down. And he also under an experiment, I don't know if you can find it on YouTube or whatever you can, wherever you can find it, but they've done an experiment with him where they literally have injected him with um, this virus, this really, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it was supposed to like lead to death, but it's like, you do not want this virus in your body type of, type of virus. And they injected it in his body and, and he just sat with it and just complete the, the body just completely rejected the virus he was not even it was not even the, in the vicinity of sort of how the virus break him break him down in any type in any type shape or form because he has full trust in his body and so i think it's equally detrimental to the to the human race like just have a person be vaccinated and then have a vaccinated person who think they really are doing a good job they just want to protect themselves and and also they think that they're protecting people around them from the bottom of their heart they think that's what's going on and have them people over and over again saying do you know that that vaccine that you took is so like it's deadly you might be dead in two years what do you think that does to a person we need to show each other more compassion and just get into the love of all of this we need to come to the truth of all of this a person who's against vaccine because you're afraid you're afraid of what the vaccine will do to your body has also no trust in the body because you can take anything it doesn't matter you can take anything you can take a pandemic going on and it doesn't, it doesn't affect you. You can take a virus, it doesn't affect you. You can take a vaccine, it doesn't affect you. We need to come into the softer side of the energy. We need to get to the truth of this, the real truth. Everyone has their own truths and you should stick to whatever feels good to you. And it's good to have like a, a, a step one moment with, with Abraham and Abram Hicks would say, this is definitely the biggest step one moment <laughs> that we've ever had as a collective. What is a step one moment? The step one moment is the pandemic hit. And so, and the virus has been spread across the globe and there's been so many questions and so many askings come through this situation. And just imagine the truth like we're standing here, we're standing here on one platform and just looking through, we're looking through this portal and on this other side of that is the real creation, is the real new world with all the solutions that you can think of. But as long as we're, we're pro or against, we're not even out of the, we are not out of the situation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare this to something really weird or something a little bit creepy. I was uh, I was fighting bulimia when I was really young. I was I was heavy into throwing up. That was the one thing that I was I felt like I was in control over in my life. And um, on a couple of occasions, I chose not to throw up, and I thought I was winning. Like I chose not to throw up. Like I have, <laughs> I have mastered it. And it, I'm trying to compare it to like, it didn't matter whether I threw up 
or I chose not to throw up. Of course, not throwing up was a step in the right direction. But whether I was throwing up or not throwing up, because uh, I was at it the day after again, I still had bulimia. I was not treating, I was not sort of going to the core of what this was about. Does that make any sense? Did I just compare it to something really weird? I'm just tr trying to say, it's not, it's not about the either or. It's not whether you're, you're doing it or not doing it. What's at the core here? The core is to find out our real power. To find out our real power. And that real power has already taken place. We're already asking for the real power. We're asking for the body to be, to be fine. All of that fear that goes around, imagine how many people being fearful or worried that either the vaccine is gonna get them or not being vaccinated is gonna get them or the government is gonna do something to me or like we don't have freedom of choice or like imagine that pot of energy of people that has asked for so much more and that so much more is beyond we're we're it's beyond here it's for us to collect now but we cannot continue to ask a question we cannot continue to be in the problem and have us see the solution there's going to be triumph we're going to we're going to come out of the other side of this question is how, how do you choose to come out there and in the meantime, in the process, we're ascending our hearts. We're ascending our truth. We're ascending. Move. We're moving up the. We're moving the, up the uh, the vibration. Whether you're in the higher vibration or not already, we're moving up the vibration. Seven seven. So we have a two, 20, which is the 2.0 version of yourself. It's the upgraded version of yourself where you have full control of your body. Vaccine or no vaccine, virus or no vaccine, <laughs> virus or no vaccine, virus or no virus. It is not even, I don't even have a dog. Doesn't even matter. And 7-7, seven, seven, first and foremost, 7-7 seven, seven speaks about um, complete protection, like your art, like, protection in the sense that the archangels are with you the bigger power is with you and it's also completion we've done what we were what we were what this was this was causing maybe with the start of trump again whether you were pro or against um maybe with the start of trump it has been like this is the turnaround. This is this is the breakthrough for all of us. And we reach the end of that now. Now, now this sort of transformation is taking place. And it's like, okay, so what do you decide now to do in this transformation? Do you decide to go through this transformation through war? Or do you decide to go through this transformation through peace? And that is an individual choice. The government can't touch you because the government... It's not like, okay, you, you control your whole vibration. You control your whole, whole vibration and you decide because you're the creator of your universe. So you decide what you're going to achieve in this world besides the government. Because the government is outside of everything is connected and is outside of, of um, what you're sending out vibrationally. No, they're not outside of that. They're a part of everything that exists and you decide whether you want to be, have that be a part of your life or not. As does everybody else. And that's what we need to do. We need to start to also have, have a little bit more faith in everybody else. That they also are connected to source. That they also have their own um, choice every single day to choose peace if they want to. What else can we bring to this situation, please? <laughs> of course, of course. 
power. Our inner power is now coming out. I mean, I mean, yeah. It's what we've been talking about. Here's the number eight again. The dove flying around with the inf inf peace for infinity. Eight is power, it's strength, it's endless possibilities. We have the power card here. We have the lion coming out of this really already wise person. We are reclaiming our power. We're ascending our heart. We're, we're coming into triumph after all of this. Can we just clarify this uh, power card, please? Actually, I want to clarify the ascending heart there as well. Can we clarify the ascending heart? Ascending heart. So I wanted to clarify this, and what I get with that is ten of Gabriel. So again, it's a completion, and we're being shown a different route. We've been down in the basement. We've do been down in the questions, the problem, the lack, the disbelief in our own power, in our own heart, to create whatever it is that we want. Are you? Do you truly, truly, truly believe that you are your own creator of your own life? Oh, shoot. I just get really, really dizzy. So maybe I should ask myself that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait. <laughs> hmm. Completion. Yeah, but we've been we've been enough in the question now. We've been enough in the problem. We've been enough in the war, in the lack, in the not in the disbelief. Gabriel is showing us a way out of this. Gabriel, there's the there's the portal again. We have the portal on the strength card. There's a way out of this. There's step through this new portal, step through through this new New, this new way, this, there's a new way. And there's a portal, and here's a portal. She's pointing to this, like, go out here instead, try this. Let's choose another route now. Let's go and find the solution. If you're solution oriented, it's gonna work out, we're gonna have triumph. It's gonna work out for everyone. Cause you know, we all want the same thing. We want power. We want to feel that we're in power. Don't tell me what to do. I know myself what to do. It's, I'm self-reliant, right? Um, don't tell me what to do. So I want, I want safety for all. I want love for all. I want everyone to feel safe. I want the person who thinks that I should take a vaccine to feel safe because they only want me to take a vaccine so that they will be safe. Although the vaccine should should take care of that, <laughs> uh, they still there's there's no there's no reasoning here. They still want everybody else to do it. Like you just do it out of like do it so that you protect other people and yourself. They want safety. They want to feel empowered. And if you're coming from the other side where where you don't want to take the vaccine, like don't tell me what to do. I don't want to take this vaccine. Because I just feel like it's so wrong to put in my body. I just, I'm, I don't resonate with it. I don't want to put it in my body. So don't tell me what to do. I just want to feel safe. I want safety for myself and for the love of God. Please don't take, don't give the other people vaccines. I want them to feel safe and feel empowered without the vaccine. We're saying the same thing. We want safety and we want love and we want power for all, for ourselves and for all. So let's just... Let's step through the portal here. Let's step through the portal here and, and start to work towards a solution, a more solution-oriented place. 
where, where, where the universe can provide us with whatever then fits the solution, whatever then fits the triumph, whatever then fits the ascension of the heart, the empowered heart. Power. Power. Uh, why is the power card here, please? So Gabriel has a, Gabriel is, no, Raphael is here. Raphael is here as well, the healer. The healer is here, but the rest is just Raphael. No, <laughs> but the rest is, I don't have a dog. Uh, the rest is uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, which is the caretaker of all the children, the caretaker of your inner child. Uh, Gabriel is here to help you come out and play to see the fun, to see the light in things. And the power card is being represented here, is being clarified with two of Gabriel and nine of Gabriel. And the two is balance, finding the balance, and nine is about endings. Endings and new beginnings is also unconditional love, is wish fulfillment. So I'm starting with the two of Gabriel here. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. You know, if everyone would just be, if everyone was, who, if everyone was, who was pro-vaccine would just stay in pro-vaccine. You know, a person who's really in alignment with vaccine, they're not going to be affected. A person who truly, truly believes in the power of the vaccine. It, I know the non-vaccines don't want to hear that, but if you're in alignment, whatever you're in alignment with that you put in your body is not going to harm you. It's when you think this might harm me and then you take it anyway. That's just like when whatever you put in your body People who struggle with their weight or struggle with their hormonal imbalance or whatever. Like, I know this sugar thing is not good for me. And then you put it in your body anyway. A person, I should not make these statements, but here it comes. Uh, a person who's against the sugar bomb that they're just about to put there in their body. Or a person who thinks that what, whatever it says on the package, uh, you know, smoking kills. It's what we have in Sweden anyway. It says smoking kills. Cigarettes kills. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it even says that. Um, a person who really, really do not believe in smoking, and yet they're smoking. Inhaling that death blow is going to be worse for that body than the complete trust in the vaccine and that the vaccine is going to help them. Being completely in alignment with the vaccine. Right? So if the, if the pro-vaccine could just stay on their, in their lane and just say, you know, I'm so pro-vaccine, I think it would be so helpful. I'm so in alignment with it, and I think it's just going to be so beautiful for my body. The end. But then you have to go out and tell everybody else what to do. And if you don't do that, I'm going to be, you know, in jeopardy here or like... To start to work against somebody else makes you now be resistant to your own belief here. Same goes for the non vaxies I don't want to take this vaccination. I shouldn't have to take it if I don't want to. It's not good for my body. Um, you know, and if you sort of come into alignment with that, I am just not uh, for vaccines. I trust in my own body. I trust in my own process. If I were to get any virus, which 
I don't think I will get, but if I were to get it, I think I will be fine because my body, I trust my body and, and the end. But then to go out and fight against what the other does not want, that's when you put yourself in, in resistance. This is about finding balance within your own vision. Two of Gabriel, balance within your own vision. Like, like I am, that's why a war, war against cancer, a war against, uh, back in the day, AIDS, a, a war against, um, um, we have a war. We're going to fight this to the death. We're not fighting anything to the death. You're keeping it alive. By focusing on what you don't want, you're keeping it alive. The reason why it's there in the beginning and what it, um, um, it sort of upsets you in the beginning is because we have a question here. We have a problem here that if you sort of just look at it from the other perspective is that, okay, there's a solution to this. There's a solution to this. The solution has been given so long ago. The solution is here for us to collect. And the way you collect it now is to stay in your own lane, stay in your own vision, and just be truthful about what feels, be truthful about what feels good to you and stop work so hard against others. Together, that's power. That's the, po that's the answer to power. Um, and also nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism, is it not? Nine of Gabriel. So we have an ending here to this, but we also have stepping into uh, unconditional love. We also have a wish fulfillment. I just see this as like gardening at its best. Like you're, you're just sort of coming into this place where you're just, okay, I'm going to just stay my course. I'm going to do what feels good to me and just stay there. And if you just, if you just stick to what stay, what feels good to you and stay there, be determined about your course, uh, you're going to be all good. That's also power. That's not saying what anybody else should or should not do. It's just, I'm staying my course. I'm, I'm, I'm finding ground. I'm finding uh, solutions on my path as I just continue on with my path. Holy moly. Is there a final advice or something around this? Final advice probably is I don't even have a dog. It's time to rise above it. What, what do you choose? What do you choose for yourself right now? If you were to really not have to look out into the world and understand that every individual, although we are linked together, there's no separation. Every person in this world has a link to you. With that said, if you were not, if you did not have to think about anybody else or think that you did anything to anybody else or anybody else could do something to you, what would be your choice right now? Love, upliftment, inspiration. You don't want to infuse more fear into the collective. We know fear now. Compassion. Final message here for the collective, please. final message guess one time guess one time what i'm holding up here <sighs> love love is the answer my friends do you see this dna string this dna between two people that are going to just flourish into this ah oh, this upgrade to this love vibration we're connecting we're not pushing against anyone or anything. We're just connecting with each other. We're coming into the love vibration. We're choosing love. Number six is love and harmony. And number six is also the connection to source. If we connect with our source, 
There is no fear. There's just knowing and love. Okay, I hope this is helpful. If it stirs up too much inside of you, just leave it. Just leave it. This, this is what I'm getting here today. This is what I want to uh, give to you here today. And if you just feel like, well, you can go and do whatever you want to yourself, then that's completely fine. Leave it if you feel like, no, it's just too upsetting what you're saying. I need to continue to fight. Fight to the death. Um, that's all I have to say. We are ascending our heart. We're coming into the love vibration. Due to this damn pandemic, we're coming into a better place. Due to this beautiful pandemic, we're coming into a better place. We have love, we have ascending heart, and we have truth. We have triumph. We have power. Take back the power, people. Thank you for listening.